hai this is a epidemic car mvc learn and practice course today in this video we will continue to go on the part two of the controller so let's get started In the previous lesson, we already created a new controller. And the index is the default action created by the new controller. Let me go ahead to delete this one. And then I will create a new one to show you the demonstration. Okay, like I started, I will create a new output string public. String out. And then just go ahead to return a hello world string. Let me open the browser by click on the debug. And then click on Start without debugging. Or you can also control F5. It will open up the browser. This is the default web page. And because we have the create a new controller here, so we have to change the URL here. Type in the news e, e the controller name and then the action name will be string out. Press control on the keyboard and then you can see the hello world message here. Back to Visual Studio and open the startup file. Scroll it down. And you can see that we have a, a round controller, which I already talked about it in the previous video. We have the ID is the optional one here. If is the additional parameter show now, let's use it in our lesson. Come back to the news controller. And here, I will go ahead to add a parameter here. Integer ID. And then, I will add some more placeholder into this string ID. In order to use the ID in the string here, so I have to use the dollar symbol. Okay. Then press the Control S on the keyboard to shape the chain, and then come back to browser. I have to provide the values for the ID here. Click on slot on the keyboard, and then provide any number. So after you press Enter on the keyboard. You see here, we have hello one, one. One is the values of the ID. Just go ahead to add other number here. One, two, three, and then press enter on the keyboard. You see that the value of ID had been changed to the new one. And actually, if you want to add some more values over the string here. We, we are able to add some more parameter in the string out. Let me go ahead to add some more parameter here, like the string, first name, string, last name. Basically, the web request will be send the values to the URL. And then the MVC framework can simply mention it either 
parameter. And so here, if we want to display the value of the first name and last name into, into this string show, we need to have something here to indicate that we are using the values input by the, the user over the URL. I will have the first name and then last name. The save it and come back to browser. I will have the first one e ID and I will have a question mark e the first name e me equal tian and and the next one will be the last name foo enter yeah so you see for now we have hello one one two three and first name yi Chien, and the last name yi Wu. so that means we are able to add multiple values over the web request we can get value through the action parameter but model binding in the mc framework i think it is much better so let me show you how to use the model binding in the MVC framework. Let me create a new model here and then I will call it a public string. I will have a, a public class, sorry, class student. And then I will have two property public string for name. Where says copy it and I will have the public string lab name. Yeah. And then in the string out here, in this of using the string directly show we will use the modeling e student in this. Let me delete this one and then I will replace it by a object. I will have a student. Student. Of course, I have to change the values for the first name and last name here. I copy this instant and then paste it here. Note. I will have first name. Student knows last name. Okay, so now, just set it up and then if you come back to browser and then you provide the value for string out here, if we provide the values for any first name or last name, so the instance of the student will be created. So when you open browser and you provide any type for the first name or last name, it will create an instance of the student. And then the values will be initiated for two property, first name and last name. So let me show you demonstration. Open browser and then I will refresh this one. Yeah, you see, it's still working fine. Let me try to update the name here. Yeah. You see the functionalities of this one still working fine. And so far, we have a string, yeah, string at the output of the action. But you know that it is not the best of MVC framework. So for the MVC framework, we should use some the I action result to return the result from the controller to the view. So let me show you how to apply the I action result in the controller. So now I will go ahead to create another action in, in this controller. And I will copy this one. Put it below the string R. In this uh, print out the string, so I will be using the Jason R. 
for the JSON out, I will keep some parameter like the ID and also the object is student. In this up return the value here, I will delete this one. And then I will have a values that the object equal news. I will create some instance for the ID. It will be equal to ID for a student. It will be equal to the student. Okay. Save it up. And then I will return the object in JSON. Return JSON. It will be all easy. We say here that means when we want to return JSON value show, we cannot use the string here. It should be the I action result. Okay, let me come back to the browser, refresh this one. Yeah, and of course, it's still working fine because we still keep the action output in string out here. So now let me change the action result from the string out to JSON out. And then enter. So after I change the action to JSON out, you can see the value here will be returned in the JSON format in this of a string. So let's come back to the Visual Studio. What happened if I still keep the string out here and then I will change the string to the ISN result. Okay, let me show you the demonstration. Copy the ISN result here and then I will replace string by the ISN result. Yeah. So after I change the string to I as in result, you see that we have some the error message here. So in order to use the I as in result for the string out here, we have to use the content. Content to generate uh, one action result. Save it up and back to browser. And then I will change it back to the string out. Enter. Yeah. You see that? The function is still working fine. And let me open as a one to return the JSON out. So I think that's all. And we are ready to work on other lesson in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.